everybody. Thank you for watching. I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who had posted a very sweet comment yesterday. They really made my day. And I promise no more negativity and what's done is done. So I just wanted to do a tutorial today for you guys. A lot of you have been asking how I highlight and contour my face. So I'm going to be showing you step by step how I do it. And some of my products that are more expensive I show drugstore alternatives that I've used and that I personally like. So please keep watching and I will teach you how. See you soon. The first thing that we're going to do is apply a foundation primer. I'm using the one by Smashbox. It's a photo finish and it's oil free. My other alternatives are by Laura Mercier, their foundation primer, and also by L'Oreal. This is the Magic Perfecting Base and you can get that at any drugstore. To apply my primer, I'm going to be using my MAC 130 foundation brush, and this is definitely one of my favorites. I love the short bristles. I love that you can use this for multi-purposes. You can use it for your primer, you can also use it for your foundation, or you can use it for a powdered foundation as well. I'm taking a small amount of my primer and I'm just going to be applying it all over my entire face. Next, I'm taking a yellow Prep and Prime Highlighter Light Boost, which could be compared to the Maybelline Cover Stick in the color yellow. This is going to correct any dark spots or any dark areas on your face, and I love applying this underneath my concealer because it's going to help keep under my eyes nice and bright. Besides under my eyes, I'm going to apply a little bit on my chin, on my nose, and also in between my eyebrows, again to highlight these areas. This part is optional, but before I rub in the Prep and Prime, I'm going to be applying a little bit of the Dream Lumi Touch Highlighting Concealer by Maybelline, and it's a salmon color. And the reason that the salmon is really good for underneath your eyes is because salmon really cancels out the dark circles under your eyes. So for me, I don't have very bad circles, but if you have darker skin, definitely try a salmon colored concealer. To rub these colors in, I'm going to be using my MAC, I believe it's number 188 brush, and it's pretty similar to my other one, it just has longer bristles, and this one I love for blending in stuff like this because it's not going to blend it in deeply into my skin, it's just going to smooth it out while still leaving the highlighter on my face. Next, taking my MAC 224 blending brush and the color Espresso by MAC, I'm just going to be accentuating this line right here, and this is going to be the first step of contouring. You're just going to be applying this color right along this line as so. So I've been contouring for a while now and this brush is definitely the best by MAC. It's number 109 and it is made for contouring and throughout this whole time I'm going to be using that same espresso color. With this brush I'm just going to be using a little bit of that color and doing small circular motions blending in that line and blending it upwards. And this is going to help create definition in your cheeks. When contouring your cheeks, it's a lot easier if you randomly smile. I know it looks funny and it looks like I'm probably smiling at myself, but I promise you it's just my technique. If you've watched any of my other foundation routines, you would know that my L'Oreal True Match in the color Coco is my favorite bronzer. You can get this again at any drugstore. And I'm going to be applying this with that same contouring brush from MAC. And what you're going to do is you're going to be applying this right starting at the line and blending it upwards. This color is a little bit lighter than the actual first contour color, so you're just going to be blending it in and it's going to create a very nice blended look. With this bronzer, you're also going to be doing the sides of your forehead and also you don't want to forget your chin and also on your neck.
going back to the same MAC brush, I'm just going to be very lightly blending in everything I had just done. It's really important that you blend all this together because in some lighting you will be able to see some of the brush strokes. So using a brush like this very lightly is going to be perfect for that. The next step is the fun part. I'm taking my MAC 214 brush and it's a little smudge brush and I use this to contour my nose. A lot of you are asking how to make your nose appear smaller and this is how. You're going to be taking the same espresso color and very carefully you're going to draw two lines on the sides of your nose and also you're not going to want to forget to do the tip of your nose and what this does it's going to add shadow onto your nose so it's going to make it appear smaller. I know a lot of you are asking if I had gotten a nose job or anything like that and if you do look back at some of my older videos my nose does look a lot smaller but it's all because of this wonderful amazing contouring trick. Now that I look really funny and it looks like I have two stripes down my nose I'm going to be taking my MAC 224 brush and I'm just going to be blending in those lines. One thing I'll do to make this look as natural as possible is I will connect the top lines into my eyeshadow into the crease. So if I have a light beige color right in my crease, I'll just connect that right into my nose and it makes the contour look perfect. At this point you're probably like, what else can this girl do to your face? But I'm just taking my first MAC brush that I was using with the shorter bristles and I'm just going to be blending in just so again there's no lines. So now that we've finished contouring, we're now going to highlight. I'm taking by Laura Mercier my Secret Camouflage Concealer in the color S3. And I'm also taking this brush by MAC. It's number 120, no, 191. Sorry, the letters are rubbing off. But yeah, you're just going to be applying this right onto the sides of your nose. And I just got this brush and I never knew what the long skinny ones were for. But honestly, to contour, it's so easy because when you're applying this on the sides of your nose, it's already going to make your nose look even more straight and perfect because the way you're applying it, it's applying it in a perfectly straight line. You're going to be blending it downwards and you're going to be creating that upside down triangle from the bottom of your nose all the way up to the sides of your eyes. You're then going to take a little bit on your finger and just apply this right down the middle of your nose and also on the bottom of your chin and in the middle of your eyebrows. And again, this is just going to be highlighting the parts of your face. We're almost done, I promise. I'm going to be using my MAC Prep and Prime Finishing Powder. A one very comparable is by Maybelline. It's a mineral veil and it's just a translucent powder and this is just going to set your concealer and this is going to help prevent any of those lines or your concealer creasing. Next apply your favorite blush. My two favorites are Maybelline Peach Satin and MAC Gleeful. And I'm using my MAC Blush Brush and it's number 123. And this one is definitely my favorite for blush. I love that it's nice and fluffy. And when I apply my blush, I just pat the blush right onto the brush as so. And if you smile, you can see exactly where the apples of your cheeks are and you're just gonna be applying that. I dab it on instead of actually swiping it on. For lipstick, I'm using my favorite nude lipstick by MAC, which is called Creme de Nude. And I'm also using by Maybelline, it's the Baby Soft Lips, and it's a pink chapstick color. And if you mix these two together, it's a perfect color. And that is how I personally contour and highlight my face. I hope you learned a lot and I would definitely recommend this for a nighttime look, perfect for the fall time. I hope you enjoyed and thank you all so much for watching. I will talk to you guys soon.